Welcome back to the Morning Blend. I'm always trying to run away from bees. Fast. You too, right? Yes. Our next guests, though, love them. They not only run toward them, they also provide honeybees room and boring. That's right. Please welcome Aaron and Anthony Gallioni. They are real life beekeepers and my friends. <laughs> Thanks and for being my here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Good. Great to good. see you. Good it's so here. funny. When we asked them to be on the show, they're like, we, we're not TV people, <laughs> but they are bee people. And I want to know why you guys became beekeepers. Because I don't know if I've ever asked you why you, why you started doing it. Uh, well, we were spending a lot of money on honey. For, <laughs> for real. Yeah. It was just to find good local honey. Yeah. I use it a lot. So we started talking about how much money we were spending on honey. And I think we were also looking for something that we could do together that wasn't already somebody's something. Yeah, you know, like fascinating. Get into a hobby together, and, and he was like, "I bet we could do that." And so we just. He's like, <laughs> "Yeah, what do you use honey for? You mean to eat it? To eat it, but um, medicinally, you know, for naturopathic remedies and to put it on my face." I've told really? Molly yes. every once in a while when I get a video from Erin, she's got honey all over her face. <laughs> but why? I think because a lot of people will say the only thing I think about is using it as a sweetener. So what, what, what kind of yeah. medicinal properties does honey have? Well, it's, it's antimicrobial by itself. It's, mm -hmm. an, and it's also an antiseptic. The beeswax itself is um, a natural humectant. So when you put it on your face, it helps to create a, like a moisture barrier. Oh, so you wear wild. it like a little face mask yeah. sometimes. And then when it drips, you know, you just eat it. Lick it. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> okay, so was it your idea? Um, I don't think so. I think he was the one who was was convinced, you know, we could probably do this. Yeah. And mm. so how many, do you know how many bees you have? Uh, one hive is probably about 60,000 bees, <gasps> uh, like the peak of summer, which is kind of right now. So they're really building up strong and making all the honey right now. So and you have more than one hive? Yeah, we mm -hmm. have two in Milwaukee and then uh, we have six other ones that are out of Milwaukee. Wow. And, uh, this is a hive next to you and we're also looking at a hive. Now, Aaron, is this you in the full yes. garb? Okay, so this is a full suit that you can wear, but Anthony, you do not wear a full suit. You what? just wear no. like a mask. Why don't you, are you, do you get stung? Yeah, every yeah. once in a while you get stung. You can actually kind of build up a tolerance though to it. And as time goes on, you kind of get to know the bees enough where you can, you know when you can be in there in shorts and a t-shirt versus a full suit. And especially when they're working hard, they honestly don't care about you. They just care about making their honey and making their bees. Huh. Is it true that a honeybee, because we did this trivia, I hope it's true, <laughs> um, that a honeybee only produces something like a quarter or half teaspoon of honey in a lifetime? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, the bees will, the, the worker bees, the females who do all the work, <clears throat> um, they'll... <laughs> The men are just around <laughs> to mate with the queen, right? Yeah. Very important part. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mating is important. Yes. They, they, yes. The, um, the, they, li their life cycle is very short. Um, yeah. You know, I think we've, we've read different things where it's you know, somewhere between 28 to 41 days. Oh wow. That's all they live. And so, oh. if you think about it that way, it's yeah. actually a huge amount of production for their yes. little lives. For their little lives. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's remarkable it, the amount of work that I mean, every day of a bee's life, it has a job. It has a specific job. Well, and let's talk about the queen because I think this is what's interesting. You have to have a queen in the hive. How how does the queen get chosen? How does that all work? Yeah. You can actually buy a queen, uh, but naturally, how it would happen? Let's say our queen dies. Uh, the bees will take an egg and they'll make a special cell and that cell will be built a little bigger to make a new queen huh. and they'll usually make a bunch of them and then when they hatch they'll fight for the one winning queen and then she'll go out and mate and then come back and then she'll be the new leader of the you hive. You can tell which one is the queen bee and is there only oh, yeah. one in a hive? Yes. Yep. yes. Yeah, really? She's bigger. She's a little bigger of a bee. She's bigger. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's she wild. wild. What do bees eat? Honey. <laughs> they eat honey, they, they make eat it pollen. and eat it? Yep. They eat honey no and way! I didn't know <laughs> that. I didn't know that either. No. That's what. <laughs> Stop, so <is> Chad. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all He's laughing like, at us. Okay. Nope. So, wait, how often do you guys have to go into the hive to actually tend to the bees, or do you just leave them alone? You know, it's honestly. <laughs> if it were up to him, he'd go in every day. He's right. fascinated. One with, with the bees? <laughs> yeah. Probably every like two weeks, 10 days to two weeks throughout okay. the summer. And in the winter so, time. so you have jobs too. This isn't a full-time thing for you. No. you don't oh, just, yeah. You're no. not just beekeepers it's by trade. Hobbyist. No, hobbyist. <laughs> so what do you do then to support your hobby? Like what what do you do for a living? Um, I have a full-time sales job. Oh my gosh. I also teach okay. yoga. 
You know? Oh, I love yeah. that. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm a fireman from Milwaukee at Engine House 24 on Rescue 2. No yeah. way. Oh, hey Props. guys. Awesome. You're watching. Props. Hey guys. Okay, so That's male awesome. bees, I'm just going to say a quick of these fast facts because we're out of time. Male bees die after mating. It's their yes. only purpose. Um, bees can only sting a human once but they can sting other insects multiple times. Male bees don't have a stinger. All right. those true? True. Correct. So, because when they sting you, then they leave the stinger in you, right? And right. then does it's, it rip it's out It's actually their our skin that, that pulls the barbs in their stinger that rips it out of their body. And then once it's ripped out of their body, is that why they die? No. It pulls out their intestines and So we kind of kill bees. If, if, they, if they sting us. They can okay. sting another bee though as many times as they want. Yeah. Ah, do they sting each other mm -hmm. in the hive? Yeah, they'll fight. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I got to come and visit you. It's so cool. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. I love it. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> it was really fun, you guys. Thank you so much for being here and bringing everything. Oh, we didn't even talk about the smoker. Oh, yeah. wow. You have to come back sometime. Yeah. Thank Thank you bring so us much. some we'll local light it up honey. next time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll taste it. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>